Welcome to Informatica Support's Multimedia KB session. My name is Vimal and in this session we are going to discuss how to configure data direct ODBC connectivity for power center installations on Unix flavored environments. I will be showing the environment variables that need to be configured to enable ODBC connectivity and the steps to configure odbc.ini file and provide the odbc home location, the odbc driver location and also the database server and port number. And also I will show a short demo for a power center session reading from a SQL Server database using odbc connectivity. So there are four environment variables that need to be configured on any Unix flavored OS namely ODBC home, path, ODBC INI and the library path variable. Based on which um, flavor of Unix OS that you're using we will be configuring using the LD underscore library underscore path variable or the lib path variable or the sh lib underscore path variable. So for the purpose of the demo I am using a Linux, machi Linux machine for uh, running the session. So as you can see um, I'm logged into a Linux machine and my Informatica installation is on this directory. So by default ODBC drivers are installed with power center installation and they are in the Informatica home um, uh, directory itself. So my Informatica home directory is um, this directory and if I change my directory to that you'll see that there's a folder called ODBC 6.1 folder. So based on which version of Power Center the name of the ODBC folder might change um, such as 6.0 or 6.1 because that's the driver uh, ODBC version number. So if I go inside the ODBC 6.1 uh, folder which is my ODBC home folder you'll see a couple of folders listed. And if I change directory to cd lib and do an ls-ltr, you'll see that um, this folder has a set of dw drivers and this is the directory where all the data direct ODBC drivers reside. So having cleared that up, um, let me show you the environment variables that are that need to be set and these environment variables are set within your profile file that you use for the power center user and in my case this is the profile file that I have used and in this profile file I have set my path environment variable to my odbc home slash bin directory and my n ld underscore library underscore path variable is set to the odbc home slash lib directory and I have also set the odbc home and odbc ini environment variables in this file itself. So let me go ahead and source this profile and uh, so that these uh, environment variables are sourced um, sorry about that. And now I'm going to do an echo on the ODBC home variable. And as you can see, it shows that the ODBC home has been pointed to the location of my ODBC main directory. And if I do an echo on my ODBC INI variable, it will be pointing to the location where my odbc.ini file resides. And if I do an echo on my ld underscore library path variable, you can see that the very first variable that is referenced is my odbc home slash lib directory. The other variables are needed for other purpose, but we are mainly interested in the odbc home slash lib directory for the ld underscore library underscore path. And we are using this variable since this is a Linux box. 
and if I do an echo on my path you'll see that the very first variable that I've referenced is the odbc home slash bin directory so these this concludes the variables that we need to set for ODBC connectivity. So now let me show you how to configure the ODBC INI file. So when the ODBC.ini file is provided, it already has a set of default content within it. And we need to configure that um, INI file for our usage. So as you can see, there's a param there's a ODBC DSN called ODBC within square brackets, and within this o DSN, there's a parameter called install dir. So the install dir parameter points to the location of my ODBC home, and basically the ODBC home and the install dir parameters are pointing to the same location, and there are you'll see as you can see there are lots of dsn's in in this dot ini file and each dsn is pointing to each odbc connectivity to separate databases for the purpose of this demo i'm reading from a sql server database and let me show you how i have configured this dsn so as you can see the name that i have provided for this dsn is sql server which is an arbitrary name and there's a parameter called driver here. This driver parameter points to the location of the ODBC home slash lib slash the ODBC driver itself. So in this case I'm using a ODBC driver called dwsqls25.so which is my SQL server driver and the database parameter points to the name of the database instance here and my hostname parameter lists the server where the SQL Server database resides and the port number points to the port that I use to connect to the database. So that concludes the discussion about the odbc.ini file and please note that after making these environment variable changes, you need to restart the power center domain so that the domain picks up the new uh, environment variable values. So let me show you my mapping. And it is a very simple mapping, reading from a SQL Server database and writing to a flat file. And in my workflow manager, the connection that I have used is a ODBC connection. It's not a SQL Server connection it is an ODBC connection. So as you can see, I have used a connection of type ODBC and the connect string that I provide in my relational connection here points to the same sequence, to, to the same DSN that I have provided in my ODBC.ini file. So in, if, you, if you remember, in my ODBC.ini file, the name that I gave for the DSN is SQL Server and that is the same name that I need to provide for my connect string here and um, <coughs> after this configuration I'm running the session and the session is currently running this is the workflow that I have for the session reading from SQL Server and as you can see it has succeeded so that brings the demo to conclusion and if you need to refer any um, documentation, you can always log into the Informatica portal and refer to the knowledge base article number 14684, which is basically provides the steps to configure ODBC connectivity. Or you can open any Power Center client such as Designer, um, click on the Help tab, and in the Contents tab, refer to the Administrator Guide and refer to the subchapter called Connecting to Databases in Power Center from Unix. So I hope this um, demo was useful and we would love to hear back from you with any suggestions and inputs. Thank you very much for your time.